Welcome in then to latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Stevie Nichol here in the studio. We also welcome back to show Shaka Hislop. Plus Frank LeBeouf in his cashmere top. Underwater. Which, which, yeah, which he made sure we all knew about. Was it a freebie, Frank? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a gift from my birthday from my, from my wife. So I, <laughs> please, you know, be nice. Had you had that, an argument? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, not even. <laughs> a good one, a very good one. Uh, if a Classico was to be played tomorrow, Stevie, who wins it? Ooh. Ooh. Well, the, the question is tomorrow, and the fact is that the performances of both sides, one look as though they've lost their way, yep. and the other looks as though they're going one way and that's up, and that would be Barcelona. Oh, I'd have to say Barcelona. Barcelona to win it. Of course, it's uh, next month. Only, what, four weeks away. Shaka, who would you take? Uh, I'm with Stevie here. If we're talking tomorrow, I'm still a less than 100% Karim Benzema. I think Barcelona win. Stevie, Fabinho and Thiago have started 17 games together and won 16, drew one. If they keep both fit till the end of the season, can Liverpool win the quadruple? Oof. If they can keep everybody fit and healthy, then they have a chance. What have we got? Premier League, Champions League, Carabao Cup finals this weekend, isn't it? An FA Cup. Yeah. And right now, <clears throat> they've probably got... They've kind, of, they've kind of snuck up on us, Liverpool, because I, I, it doesn't seem that long ago we were talking about how the squad was a little light. They actually look as though they've got two players for every position, pretty much. Now. Yeah. So, if they can keep everybody healthy uh, and get a a decent sort of rotation where they're, they're not weakening themselves that much, uh, then they have a chance. Is it, is, it, is it going to happen or is it likely? No, because it's very, it's very difficult to do, but they have a chance. If I was to give you 50 American dollars, Stephen, and ask you to put a bet on which Liverpool would win, the Premier League or the Champions League, where would your money go? I would put it on the Champions League. More likely to win the Champions League? Well, because it's not in their hands. Man City don't lose another game, they win the, they win the title. So, right. And they're, they're capable of doing that. So, it's in Liverpool's <laughs> hands. Yeah. Champions if, if League. Man City, so if Man City do, don't lose another that. game, they win the Champions League as well, though. Ah. Yeah, but the fact is they've got a head start. So right. If you, you seem to be at the start of the season, oh by the way, I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give Man City six points of a start. Yeah. You'd be like, hold on a minute. But if Liverpool win every game in the Premier League between now and the end of the season, it... but, but if City do as well, then City still win. But if Liverpool do, they if Liverpool win. Liverpool will win. Well, I'm just well, well, hold on. They, they Liverpool try to be clever. Sure. No, no, I'm not. I'm not they being clever. Both win every game between now and the end of the season. If just, Liverpool win every game between now and the end simple. of the season, let me make this simple. Yes. Right. Yes. If Liverpool win every league game yes. between now and the end of the season, they could still not win the Premier well, League. Well, the goal difference, Hold on. They could still not win the Premier League, correct? Oh, it's very unlikely, Stevie. Mm -hmm. I don't care whether it's very unlikely or not. We're talking about facts here. <laughs> well, it's, it's facts that c you're, fact you're twisting. Is, if they win every game in the Champions League, they will win the Champions League. Right. So that's why I'm going with that one. What's that go the goal? It would come down to goal difference, wouldn't it? So what? Well, I'm just I don't care what it comes down to. Right. They have a better chance right now. Okay, that's the, the question. Champions that's League. the question I was asking. Yeah, well, you're just trying to be clever. <laughs> I'm not trying to be clever. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, what would you say? I, I totally agree with uh, with Stevie. They have more chance to win the Champions League because uh, um, it's in their hands. Uh, and again, yeah, it's true. If they if they play and win all the game, they they have to play in the Premier League. Uh, Manchester City can do the same, almost the same, because I think they're gonna they're gonna confront them, uh, each other. But but still, you have more chance. It's more likely for for Liverpool to win the Champions League right now, at the present time. Wow, this is a big question. No one's gonna know the answer. Who has been the best young player in the Premier League this season up until now? That's the silence I was expecting. Anyone talk when they would like to. <laughs> no. Right, good. Yep. Still. I, I don't even know what qualifies as young player anymore. Yeah, how, how old I'll be is honest. Young? How old is young? Yeah. I don't know. Under 21. Well, there's no many. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good. It's going well. Saka at Arsenal. How was Foden? How was Foden? Foden. How old is he? I, I don't, don't even know, know how old Foden is. We can... How old is Gallagher? I <laughs> 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 need some context here. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, do I? How do I know everybody's ages? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got Gallagher, we've got Foden. Saka. Saka. No. Yeah, good. That was a good question. Okay. Right. My throw's been good when he's... Right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. You 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 teed up that Elliot. question terribly, Dan. Well, because I knew exactly what the response would be. Silence. Because <laughs> you guys need 24 hours no, to work yeah, no, out. You, you, you come in with, oh, this is a, this is a good question. This is a good question. No. Don't really do it. Don't no, really, the question, don't really what, the question, question I knew would be, would be old? met with silence. Frank, here we go. <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah. Uh, rank these transfers from best to worst. Get ready. Lukaku to Chelsea. Messi to PSG. Jack Grealish to City. Oh, my God. Uh, you want, you, uh, I'm, I think all the City fans are already upset with me. So I will start... Uh, well, I will finish with Grealish for sure. Uh, I would say first Lukaku because he scored some goals. Uh, then Messi because he's still not there, and uh, and I'm still waiting for Grealish. We're comparing to what he did for Aston Villa, yeah, he's not there yet. Uh, even if I think uh, I have more hopes on Grealish than on the two others. So you you, you take you, you you can't you can't take Lukaku over Messi as a. As a better signing? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. He, he helped them in the Club World Cup. Well, he helped them at the weekend as well, with seven touches in a game. Seven yes. Touches, that's just incredible. Yeah, that's, that's obviously, so it's, it's a Premier League record, isn't it? Oh, so you can't, yeah, you can't have him over Messi. No. 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 And Jack Grealish got potential, isn't well, he? Did you, see, did you see Messi playing, Stevie, in a, Premier, in a, in a Ligue 1? Because I don't know, I, I think you don't have the league on it on your on your television, so I, I, you I, should see well, Messi playing in the league. Uh, really, I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess. With all I'm going to respect. assume, as bad as he's playing, he can't be as bad as having seven touches in a game and doing nothing with them. Mm. So, I mean, it's a low bar. Uh, Shaka, what did you make of this Lukaku situation? Just two touches in the first half, one of them the kickoff, seven overall in the 90 minutes. Obviously, a Premier League record. Um, uh, listen, I, I think you have to share the responsibility in that tactically. I don't think Chelsea was set up to get Lukaku the ball. Um, listen, Lukaku is at his best when he's running in behind defences and, and when defences sit deep, you have to figure out how to get him into the, get the ball into him. But at the same time, you're a Premier League player. You have to figure, you have to be able to figure that out on the fly during the game. And, and so, I, I, as I say, I think, I think that responsibility is shared two ways. To, to, the, to the question though, can I, can I just say, I think I, I go Messi over Lukaku, Grealish third, and the reason I put Messi over Lukaku is because I think Messi was brought, brought into PSG for the Champions League. And, and I don't agree, I don't agree with, with um, whatever publication it was that, that gave Messi three out of 10 uh, against Real Madrid, I, I think, he wasn't great, but it certainly wasn't three out of ten. And PSG are still very much in the Champions League, and I think that's where he'll be judged, not on his league uh, performances. I don't think Chelsea have been better, or that much better with Lukaku, and Grealish hasn't featured anywhere near as much as, as well, he needs to be to, to, to eclipse the other two. Frank, what did you make of Lukaku? Well... It would be uh, it would be stupid that I'm to say that I'm happy. I, 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 you all know that that I cheer uh, the club that I used to play for, but uh, I'm disappointed. And I, and I was thinking, you know, I'm going on the game on Tuesday. Uh, hopefully, maybe I will see him. I want him to really get out of the pressure that the, I, every time that he plays for Chelsea, when he arrived the first time that he came. Then I did. He came back, and it's like when he plays for Chelsea, he puts too much pressure on himself. I don't know what he uh, uh, what he thinks about, what he thinks about, and uh, but at the end of the day, he does not what he's able to do. What I saw him doing when he was playing for Inter Milan last season, where he was feeling free. 
I'm disappointed. I'm expecting more. Yes, I want him to be more a leader. And of course, it's maybe the, 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 the fault of some others who doesn't serve him properly. But it's also his fault because he doesn't show himself as he should be. Uh, and uh, and uh, he has to take uh, the job, the leadership in a, in a, in a full amount for me. Uh, when so he was, when wait, he... uh, Frank, if you're going to go and see him, don't wear that top. He won't be able to see you. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. He will see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Unmissable. <laughs> I'm Frank's face in it. Uh, are you going to add something, Stephen? I was just going to say... I... I remember at Manchester United towards the end of his time there. I was I, I questioned I questioned whether he was just happy to be there. Right. Because I can't remember I think it was Rashford came on and was went and was put at centre forward and he was told to go wide. And it was almost like he was like, Yes, yes or no, sir, three bags full. And I've played with some centre forwards who if they hadn't touched the ball after ten minutes, every single person in the stadium would know about it. Right. And certainly the team would know about it. And until you got on the ball, you would know about it. So I'm kind of I'm kind of questioning Lukaku because you, you need to demand the ball. You're supposed to be the figurehead, the, the spearhead of the team. You're, you were brought in to get goals and, and, and all this other stuff. And you're 16 foot tall, 10 foot wide, and you disappear. How is that possible? Uh, dear panel. Who would you play, drop, sell from the following twinkle toed mercurial English 80s, 90s who can spray a pass and smack a rocket from distance midfielders? Easy. You Peter, play, Peter Beardsley. You play Peter. Glenn Hoddle. You Matt Letizia. Yeah. You, you play Peter. Ooh. You drop Matt and you sell Hoddle. Wow. Because you've got to play Peter. Have you got to play Peter, Shaka? As, as I've said many times on this show, no player has given me more issues than, than Matt Letizia. Seeing that I never played against Glenn Hoddle and, and played with Peter Bears in the latter end of his career at, at Newcastle. So it's play, drop and sell, is it? Yes. Oh man, I am I'm playing Hoddle. Um, well, why would you do that oh, if you never saw him play? Me. How would you play him <laughs> if you never saw him play? I, I didn't say I never saw him play. I said I never played against him. Yes, yeah, Stevie. Oh well. We're going. We're going on it's off. The, we're going yeah, off listen. the telly then. <laughs> <laughs> listen, shack up. Please. Hey, we're going off match I'm, of the I'm, day. I'm, I'm oh, that, yeah, 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 what do we do on here every day? <laughs> 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 So, okay, back, back to the question. I, I play, I play, I play Huddle, I drop Letizia and I sell Beardsley. Uh, Frank? Exactly like Shaka. I had the chance my first year as a professional player. I played against Glenn Odell when he was playing for Monaco. I never seen somebody so effective, so talented. I remember one action he made where he made believe our entire team, but also I think half of his teammates, that he will give the ball, he received the ball from the left, that he will give the ball on, on the front left, where he put the outside of his right foot and gave the ball to the, uh, to the, the wing back, the right wing back. And we all went on the left, our right, and we all were in the wrong position. It was, I say, not, I never seen that in a football uh, again mm -hmm. in my life. I, I think that guy was a magician with the with the with the with the mm -hmm. with the ball. I love Malatissi, but Malatissi was a fantastic player because he was a real leader when he was playing for Southampton, and I played many times against him. Fantastic player. Um, so I, I will. It's why I will keep. I will play Odo. I will. Uh, uh, how do you say? Drop Malatissi, but I will sell Biersley because I never felt. Uh, that intensity of leadership on Beardsley that I felt on Odell and Leticia. Hey, if you like the circus, then take two of them, Hoddle and Leticia. <laughs> right? Who doesn't like the circus? It's okay, don't be upset. Don't be upset. It's just, <laughs> just, it's just, it's just it's 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 all right. It's all right, <laughs> all right Stevie. <laughs> <if> it... <laughs> I saw a guy in a Sunday league game playing the most incredible ball. 
Yeah, but that's... But the, you, that's you, 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 Steve, so, you can't say... Hoddle, Hoddle and Letizia are well, Sunday Letizia, league players. Letizia more than Hoddle, right? Letizia was known for producing something from nowhere. <laughs> Sometimes. Why do, you think, why do you think he never went to any, any of the bigger teams? You couldn't rely on him. It's one, it's, it's one thing to do... Chelsea were oh, I'm desperate sure he, for him. I'm sure he was comfortable walking, walking, walking around the football park on a Saturday afternoon, having a cup of tea and a cigar, and then going, right, I'll tell you what, I'll do something there. I think, hey, give me the ball, Bosch. I, I think, Stevie, I think, Stevie, uh, Michel Platini asked Letitia if he wanted to be uh, French to put him in with the national team, because I think he had the choice. So he tells you the talent of that player. I think he was absolutely fantastic. I think he didn't want to move to Southampton because it was a comf comfortable situation for him. That's it. No oh. surprise he didn't want to be French, though, Frank. <laughs> Aside, yeah. from <laughs> yeah. Aside from which. Aside from which. I agree. I agree, I agree with you. I agree. <laughs> hey. Yeah. No, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, well Isn't everybody in agreement that we're taking Beardsley over Letizia? We're selling Beardsley and dropping Letizia. Why, why are we arguing Beardsley over Letizia? Because Stevie loves everybody Beardsley. I don't know oh, what Stevie's on about. But I'll tell you what, can you please tell me which... <laughs> can you please tell me, right, which one of these three players was responsible for getting England to the quarterfinals of the World Cup in Mexico? There you go. Was it Letizia? Was it Hoddle? I no. don't know. It was Beardsley. Why do you think? Why did Gary Lineker get all the not, not Mexico? Beg your pardon. I meant the, the Italian. It's Italy, yeah. Hey, so so lighting up the World Cup doesn't mean anything. Wow. Does it? Maybe we could just all agree to you know, disagree, Stephen. All, all I'm I'm saying just... here, Stevie. All I, wait. All, all I'm all I'm saying here is all I'm saying here is, I, I thought we were in agreement that we we <laughs> were dropping Beardsley, uh, dropping Letizia. And Frank and I are disagreeing with you between Hoddle and Beardsley. Yet you start fashioning an argument around Letizia, which we're all in agreement with. He's the one we're dropping, no? Oh, dear. If you want, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I completely oh forgot God. what I was arguing about. Uh, oh, there's a shack at your bamboo. Well done. Uh, I forget, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm confused now. Next question. Uh, we're done, Frank. There's no more questions. That is it. Enjoy oh, Lille. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Enjoy Lille against Chelsea, Frank. Uh, I will, I will, I will. Thank you. Good, excellent, good. Uh, ESPN FC, they're back on your screens tomorrow. <laughs> Be sure to join us. Well, uh, at the end, you know, she asked me the question before. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.